none of this is possible without the right people. And one of the lessons that um, I think is important right the way across any organisation, but is particularly important in something as difficult as science and technology, is that you don't achieve this if everyone comes from the same background, everyone has the same discipline, everyone has the same way of thinking, and everybody around the meeting agrees with each other because they've all got exactly the same set of experiences. So diversity, which is often seen as a sort of thing that you have to do on top of everything else, is fundamental to making this work. Because if we don't get a truly diverse workforce, and one only has to look at the figures for the number of women in engineering, which remains pitifully low, we've got to sort this out in order to make sure that we've got the real expertise and workforce and skilled people of the future who can work in a way that challenges the status quo and brings different minds to solving difficult problems. 